Once you've made sure that you are in third grade and language arts, your assignments are going to be MM1. So that is 2M. So I'm going to scroll down. I already passed 1M. And now I'm in the double letters. I need to get to MM1. It is called Use Action Verbs. Action verbs are verbs you can do. That's what we're studying currently. That is the first one. The second one is which sentence is the regular past tense? And the third one, this is only if you have time, I only require the first two, is identify verbs in regular past tense. Now we're gonna work on 001 a little bit together. Yours will probably be different, but if they're the same, you can, um, once you get started, you can answer them a little bit quicker. Remember, past tense verbs means that it happened yesterday. So if I said, I often borrow Martha's pen, did that probably happen yesterday? Yesterday, I borrow Martha's pen? No. Let's put yesterday in front of the next one and see if it sounds correct. Yesterday, Tim clapped his hands. Yeah, the second one is in past tense. Another way I know is because past tense verm, verbs typically have an ED. Now there are some regular, irregular crazy ones, but typically they have an ED. Which sentence is in the past tense? Now just by looking at them, I bet you can have a guess from what we talked about before. Ends in an ED. So I'm gonna read it and add yesterday before and see if it sounds correct. Yesterday, the sandwich satisfied my hunger. That sounds pretty good to me. I see an ED. I'll try out the next one anyways. Yesterday, we will gather outside. I know that will is a linking verb for future tense, so it cannot be the second one. All right, we're gonna add the same thing, yesterday and before them, and I'm also gonna look for that ED. Yesterday, mom arranges the flowers. That doesn't sound right. Arranges sounds like a present tense verb. Second one. Yesterday, the rainbow amazed her. I see the ED that tells me that it is a past tense verb. Last one we're gonna do together, the rest of them you will do on your own. You might have them mixed up a little bit. Yesterday, Greta married Adam, yesterday. It already says the key word yesterday in it. I don't even know if I have to read on, but I'll double check. Martin will complete the test. I know will is a linking verb and that is future tense. I also see yesterday. All right, complete this until you get to 100. And then if you still have time, you're gonna do 002. And you have to complete MM1. We'll do a couple of these together to kind of get you started. Complete the sentence with the action verb. An action verb is something you can do. When you answer these, I want you to ask, can you, and then say the verb. Can you class? No, that's not something you can do. That's a noun. Can you forgive? That's something you can do, so that would be an action verb. Now we'll plug it in to see if it makes sense. Mrs. Delgado forgives us for making so much noise. Yeah, that fits in there. Submit. The second one. The shy boy blank under, sorry, around the curtain. Now I'm gonna ask that same question. Can you peek? I can peek. So that sounds like an action verb. I'll check it in the other one though. Can you window? No, you can't window. Window is a noun. The shy boy peeked around the curtain. It is peeked. Last one. Our hen blank three eggs every day. Can you plenty? No. Can you lay? You can lay. Our hen lays three eggs every day. Correct. 
All right, so the two assignments you have to complete are MM1 and 001, and then 002 if you still have time in this block. Good luck.